Hello, wonderful bridge people. Uh, Eli Jolly back. I'm starting a new series today. This is called Hand of the Day. Every day, I'm going to be making a video, probably a five to ten minute video about a hand I played recently. Uh, I'll be chronicling my ups and downs, my good boards, my bad boards, the things I'm learning, the things I'm, uh, I'm excelling at, and just you know trying to um, help myself, but hopefully help you see different positions and also know that you know. A player like myself, I, I think I'm a higher skill level, at least I, I think I am. I, you know, make mistakes, I have struggles, and uh, I imagine that, that you do too. Now, today is a more of a, a hero story. It's a cool one because I was playing a 12-board instant tournament, and this is the 12th board of the set. And I was probably down like 2%. I was running in second, and I thought, how can I get ahead of my opponents. Well, I'm going to make a slightly aggressive action here on this board. So if we look at this hand, uh, west passes, north passes, east opens one club. Now, what would you do here uh, with this hand? I think there are a couple options. You can take my route and bid one no trump, which I think is reasonable, but the downside is the single ten king of hearts. Or you could pass, hoping to make a takeout double later. Now, the bad thing about that is it's going to be kind of hard to find game. You know, it's just generally speaking, once they open, you pass. Even if you reopen, finding game could be hard. My partner's a past hand here, so it can be tricky to know their exact range. And I'm in this sort of in-between zone with this medium strength hand. So anyway, I went the aggressive route like I normally do. I bid one no trump. And I got very lucky because my partner did not bid hearts. They did not transfer to hearts. They instead bid three no trump with this hand. All right, so they have an 11 count here. So I'm really kind of in business from the point of standpoint of high card points. You know, I've, I have 16, my partner has 11, it's 27. Now, if you look at tricks though, it's really scary. As you see here, the heart suit is pretty much wide open. I've got four hearts to the king, they have nine, and they have all the other honors. And you can imagine East winning the ace of spades and then running hearts. Now, the question here is, why would East not just win the ace of spades and play in hearts? Well, if this is a robot tournament. The robot will never think I have a singleton king of hearts. They're never going to play me for that. You know, they're, they're expecting me to have my bid. And I understand if I was the robot here, I probably would play south to have at least two hearts to the king. Um, so there is some safety in that, but of course, when they lead the spade, I'm just praying here that they they don't switch to hearts. So let's see what happens. All right. Phew. I jumped the first hurdle. Now I have to go to the drawing board. And I already talked about the high card points. You know, I have at least 27. East open, so they have at least 11. So here, West has at most two points. And it looks like they'd have they could have two jacks or like the queen of hearts. So I have, I have a little bit of a puzzle ahead of me. You know, I have a spade trick. I have, hopefully, I have four diamond tricks. If they split or the jack of diamonds falls, and I have three clubs. Now, I need to find my ninth trick. How can I get it? So I want you all to take uh, a minute here, uh, or a minute less. Maybe you already have, you already know how you would play it, and I want you to, to make a plan here. Go ahead and pause the video. Um, if you don't feel like pausing, I'm just going to go right ahead. All right, so uh, my thinking here was was that, you know, the clubs could always split 3-3. Three, three. As you know, that's not the percentage thing to, to happen. Usually this suit combo is going to break 4-2. So how can I accommodate the 4-2 breaks? Now, if, if someone has Jack Doubleton, like West has Jack Doubleton here, I could just bang down the top clubs and my 10 becomes good, you know, as, as long as I preserve it. So that's an option. Um, but I, I also something, saw something else, uh, which is that if you're looking at this club suit, I have interesting spots. I have the 10, 7, and 6. I'm missing the 9 and the 8, the jack, 9, 8, and three other small ones. Now, what I can do here is I can hope that West has the nine doubleton or eight doubleton which is more likely than them having jack doubleton right 
And if that's the case, I can try to squash it, okay? This is kind of like um, what uh, Eric Rodwell calls a Martellian squash kind of play. Uh, you're usually playing for the opponent to have a very specific spot card, and then you squash that spot card. All right, so on this hand, that was my thinking. Another thing that convinced me to go for this instead of the 3-3 three, three break was that the east-west side has so many hearts. They have nine. So I'm just playing east to have four hearts from the bat. And I just said thought they had four clubs. It was just my feeling on the on the hand. I don't know if it's right. So I decided to uh, go ahead and, and cash the queen of clubs. I don't think that can really hurt me and see what happens. All right, they both played small clubs. Now this is kind of the moment of truth. I need something good to happen in the club suit. Hopefully West doesn't have Jack Doubleton. Otherwise I look like a fool. I'm going to lead the 10, hoping for 9 Doubleton or 8 Doubleton. They play the Jack. I play the Ace. And the 8 pops. Okay. So I cleared that hurdle. Now if West has 9, 8, 3, then I need to just bang down my King. But if they just started with 8 Doubleton... We need to try the finesse. So on this hand, I decided to follow through. I played over to my ace of diamonds. Honestly, at this point, I should have given the diamond suit more thought, but I was so wrapped up in the clubs. I played the two. East plays the three. And I finessed here with the six on the third round. And it won. So that was really cool. Um, at that point, I had four clubs and the diamond split. And I got my spade trick. And actually, later in the hand, East ended up giving me um, giving me more tricks because they didn't play their, their hearts. They kept thinking I had a doubleton. So it turned out that maybe I didn't even make this hero play in clubs, but it was a really cool suit. Happy that I trusted my gut. And as you see here, when they're playing spades, I actually got another trick. So, yeah. Uh, so yeah, I hope that was fun. Hope you learned something. I'm going to come back tomorrow, another hand of the day, and per usual, happy bridge. Bye-bye.